what is going on welcome back to the channel today we're gonna be uh working on the interior a little bit more on the truck got a couple things i want to do first off i want to put this sound deadener in that i bought some years ago hopefully it's all good and then i got this carpet from acc uh which uh also i bought a few years ago so hopefully it's all good um i did throw the carpet in to see how it fit and it fits really well um very happy with how it looks and it contours to the floor it's all uh, molded you know where the seat humps are and where the transmission tunnel is at and then the back seat you can see it's uh, molded around the floor as well um, the sound deadener haven't opened it up but uh, it's 50 mil uh, 50 square feet car sound deadening mat so I'm hoping this eliminates some of the road noise and rattles and stuff that um, you get just with any vehicle really but I do plan to put a stereo in this truck don't know if that's gonna actually work out or not either way that stuff's gonna help with keeping heat out of the cab and keeping uh, some noise down so I've never installed it before it looks fairly easy I think it's just sticky back and you lay it down and stick it on the floor which I have these little rollers here they are I bought these a few years back as well never used them so these uh should be able to go right in from what i understand is you just put the stuff down and roller it on and it should just stick so as you saw in the uh, last video i had scraped the floor i pressure washed it and i blew it out with a uh, leaf blower to dry it um, it's currently dry at this point it's been sitting so it should be ready to go. I'm gonna leave all the like factory wiring. Um, I might try to go around it. I don't know if I'll, maybe I'll just move it to the side and just do a square piece here, not really sure. Um, but that's the plan for now is just get sound deadener in, fit the carpet over it, see how it fits with the deadener underneath. I know it fits good without it, but uh, it shouldn't be too bad because it's only 50 mil, but you never know. And then from there, I wanna put the back seat back in and start fitting to see uh, how the speakers and stuff can fit and run the wires along the floor underneath the carpet to make it hopefully look nice. So I guess let's get to it. Well, that's going to about do it for today. I am sweating my butt off uh, doing this, but uh, it sounds like a storm is rolling in, so I'm not going to be out here doing this much longer. But that said, I got most of this done, and it laid out pretty nice. The uh, company is Noico, N-O-I-C-O Solutions. Pretty sure I got it off Amazon. I'd have to look. It was, again, it was like four or five years ago. Um, but... It cuts really nice. It's basically like a tar backing. If you've never seen this stuff, I just threw a piece over here somewhere. Anyway, it's got like a, it's almost like road tar on the back and then this foil top. And then you, you put it down, you peel off the sticky back and you use a little roller wheel and smooth it out. And it adheres pretty nice. I mean, you can see it conforms, you know, fairly well. 
you have to make some cuts in some spots like here I had to cut it to get it go around these curves and then like here's a big curve so I'm gonna have to cut a piece out and patch that in I just did that with the scrap over here I just cut a couple pieces and put it in so I have to finish that um, I'm debating on doing a strip here on each side and then um, also on the uh, the B pillars here going up the B pillar and then doing the roof so that's a whole nother thing um, I only have one sheet left so it's not gonna get me very far I could probably put some on the B pillar maybe the lower half of each B pillar not really sure I do want to do the roof it is very noisy um, so it would be nice to take some of that noise out if I can I do need to redo the headliner to get the headliner out of here though I believe I have to take a window out so I have to see if I can get the windshield out um, and then get it out the front recover it put it back in while it's out I could put that all up in there uh, I'm pretty sure I've I think I've tried to get this out before but I've also never had the interior all the way out so I should probably try to get it down and out again and if I can that would be great because then I could throw that up I can redo the headliner which I have no idea material wise how I'm gonna do this um, yeah that's a whole nother another project for another video so uh, yeah for now I'm gonna end it off with uh, some success it's uh, looking good and also definitely you can hear how solid like the roof I just banged on is pretty much how the floor sounded before you would hit it and it has this tingy like I don't know just a vibration sound right um, kind of like even on that that's the B pillar has that but now the floor is a solid thud and it wasn't like that before I should have done video earlier but it definitely dampened everything which is exactly what we wanted to do so next step is to finish up I guess the rest of this um, which whatever I can do I've seen other people you know cut it and put it inside of doors which honestly isn't a horrible idea but with the limited space I have working in this thing I'm I'm not sure I want to deal with all that because the backing is so sticky when you you, I would have to roll it up to fit it in the door and then unroll it while my hands are in the door. And that's a whole mess. But for now, I want to say uh, thanks for watching. If you can, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it around, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.